Hey everybody, my name is Jose Arce. I'm here with Coach Aaron Bryant of Cy Creek High School. Coach Bryant, a pleasure to, to do an interview with you. Really appreciate you coming out here and chatting with us. No problem. You had a team that went 11 and five, or 12 and five in district, uh, 20 and 11 overall. That's some pretty good numbers there. What are some things you're looking forward to this year from your, your ball club that's gonna take you to that next step um, as a ball club, whether or not it's being more successful or just developing some players for this year? Um, in our district, it always comes down to defense and pitching. Um, the last three, four years since I've been here as assistant, now taking over, uh, we've had five or six teams with a sub two ERA, and that's tough uh, when you have a district that's that deep in pitching. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you can have one of the top five or six teams have an ERA below two, and you still be looking on the outside, don't look looking in because just not able to get it with the stick. So right. the big thing is to be consistent with the pitching, mm -hmm. uh, which I feel like that's going to be one of our strengths. We've got three of our four top pitchers coming back. Um, including uh, second team all district pitcher in Christian Diaz. Um, and then we've got another guy that's, uh, we expect to have more out of the mound, which is Matt Santos. He was second team all team uh, district DH last year as a sophomore. And then we've got Peyton Denny, who's coming back also with a lot of meaningful innings. Uh, last year as a first year varsity player back as a junior. So those three guys, plus we got some other guys, uh, you know, Ben Wigington, just to mention one, that's gonna be big for us on the mound this year. Um, you know, we're, we're, we got a lot of seniors. We have 12, 13 seniors. Mm -hmm. uh, but the big thing for us is uh, there's not a lot of meaningful innings in there in those seniors. So it's, um, we're expecting a lot of those seniors to step up in their first year as varsity players, but they've got the skill and the ability to get it done. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned seniors and all that. And then, you know, something that, that comes to mind as a, as a player, you know, playing through high school and college ball that I did, it's, man, that first game is a key game. You know, whether that's a win or a loss, there's a lot that goes into that game. Um, whether it's momentum or, like you said, with seniors, whether it's setting the tone as leadership. What are some things that you're looking forward to in that first game this year, whether that's a tournament or preseason game, whatever game that may be for you guys? What is something you're looking forward to other than a win, right? But what is something you're expecting to, to see out of the leaders you're hoping to be on that team or maybe even some players that you didn't expect to perform and maybe perform at a higher level? What are some of those things you're looking for going into that game? Well, obviously you want the seniors to do well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's their last year and you want them to have a good first step going in to their last season. And they understand right. that this is the last time they get to do it for the first time. Right. So, you know, when we strap it up against um, against the task of seed in a week, you know, mm -hmm. the big thing is go out there and compete, have some success. Um, scrimmages are pretty much vanilla, mm -hmm. but it's to go out there and have some success, throwing strikes, play clean on defense, have good quality at bats, you know. And if you have more runs at the end of a scrimmage, that's great and wonderful. Um, scrimmages are totally different than games. There's not a whole lot of strategies. Let, let's see what they can go and do. Now, we had that first game against Spring, mm -hmm. and then, you know, uh, it, it's totally different. So when we play them in the, the Kingwood, the Humble Task of Seed Tournament, it's, it's going to be tough. Spring's a very good ball club. Um, mm -hmm. Anytime you can beat a team that won their district last year, that had a good run in the playoffs last year, and again, it's anytime you play anybody around here, it's going to be tough. But spring's always good. Um, they've got a very good, rich tradition, and mm -hmm. uh, that's the same thing we're trying to do. We hope the younger guys, obviously, we want them to step up and start to maybe take a leadership role as well because when the younger guys start to take a, a bigger role, then that obviously is better for the future as well where you're not having only seniors taking the leadership. So right. uh, we've got some juniors that have the ability to get that done, like I said, with, with – with Santos and Denny, and so hopefully other juniors will step up that are making their first um, steps on a varsity baseball field as well. Yeah, I can totally agree with that. Um, as far as looking at things from a season point of view, right, we're talking about preseason, we're talking about some regular season games, we can even go a little bit further and mention something about a, a full season at the end of the games, end of the season, I should say. What are some, a game or maybe a moment you're looking forward to this season? Again, it may not be in the preseason with the first game or the first game of this season. What is a, a game you're looking forward to or an opponent? Maybe it's a rival team. Or maybe it's a moment from last year that you're looking to kind of get some payback on. What is a moment this year that you're really excited for as a coach of this team? Well, obviously that first district game is big. Uh, uh -huh. You know, tournaments get you ready for district. And with our district being so big, we play district games in between our tournaments. So mm -hmm. that first district game against Ridge, I mm -hmm. mean, there's nobody in our district you can take lightly. And as soon as you do, you're going to get beat. Yeah. So we've got to come out ready to play against Ridge in that first district ball game between our first two tournaments. Uh, if we do that, then we set ourselves up with an opportunity to be going uh, into the second game against them as well. If we take care of business, do what we're supposed to, then obviously going into district, that, that first full week of district at 2-0 is a lot better than going in 0-2 or even 1-1. Right. But, I mean, Ridge is no pushover. They're going to be good. They're going to have quality guys. They always do. Mm -hmm. um, they go out there and compete, and they compete hard. So um, we, that's the first step is you got to go out there and you got to take the first one or two games in district really set the tone for the rest of your district play. From that point, I mean, 
Since I've been here, we have yet to beat Ranch, so obviously we want to beat Ranch for the first time in at right. least four years. Okay. Um, Langham, we've only beaten once, so we want to continue finally after getting that first win the last four years against them. We want to beat them, but our biggest rival, and it always will be, and it's, and it's in every sport, Cy Fair, Cy Creek, it's the big rivalry. I mean, yeah. it gets, there's, as, as much as the juices get going and when we play anybody else, just the atmosphere at our place, and when we go there, it's just as rowdy, and it's just, that's the game that we look at every year. It's like, you know, we have to beat them because, right. um, you know, that's our big rival, and I know they feel the same way. It's like, hey, that's Creek. we got to go beat them. Right. And, and we're not just looking at beating each other because we know if we have success against each other, we have a good chance of doing well in the season as well. So right. um, typically whoever's won that season series has gone on to be not just in the playoffs but a higher seat. And so I, I think that series says a lot about our district, and it's, it has a lot to do with the stands in the long run, whether you're in or you're out. Last year they missed it by one game. We were able to sweep them last year. You know, we were fortunate. Uh, a couple of years ago, they beat us, uh, or they swept us. I'm sorry, they didn't sweep us, but they, they split with us, and that game ended up being the big difference. That one game that they beat us, we missed the playoffs. So yeah. that series always has a lot of implications, not just confidence-wise, school pride-wise, big rivalry, but, of course, playoffs. Yeah, so we've, we've kind of covered a little bit about your team, your club here. We've talked a little bit about your district, a little bit about the opponents in it, some moments here you're looking forward to, some growth as your team. We're going to finish here. I want to just know a little bit more about you as a coach, right? So... From a coaching perspective, right, as, as you're pursuing and you're growing young men through a program from even eighth graders to freshmen on up to seniors and you're trying to develop them as they come in and you're trying to set them off on the right foot as they're leaving out, what is something as a coach that you're looking to impart into a young man as they're coming up through your program? Well, and that's the great thing about sports and baseball in general. You know, you're part of a team. You're part of something that's bigger than you. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully the lessons that we teach them in baseball will go on with them in life, you know, to be yeah. a, better, a, a better husband, a better father, you know. And... To, to not take anything for granted. You know, the, the time that you have here on the baseball diamond, in high school especially, I mean, it, it goes by so fast, and they never realize it until now here it is their senior season. Now, right. so you know, it's going to be senior night on April 27th. That's going to be the last time they play on this field. So yeah. really cherish every moment that you have with the guys that you play with because these moments don't last forever, and uh, take them with you. And, and, and the memories are going to be that much sweeter um, whenever you have success. So, um the fact that they play so well together, and, and again, that's part of being a team. And you carry that in life, and it doesn't matter what your job is. If you're if you're a team player and you understand that there's more to success other than just you doing your job, but also helping others, um, then that's going to help them, I think, through life. And of course, giving back to your community. These guys, yeah. I mean, and, and I know our school isn't the only one, um, especially with what happened with Hurricane Harvey. But our kids yeah. are just just an example of what our kids did and what everybody did around not just Houston area, but specifically our area. Yeah. Just going out, and we had kids that. They would go out and their house would be flooded and there was really nothing else they felt like they could do in their house and they'd go and help their neighbor or another wow. guy on the team. So awesome. it, it's a it's a real community. So the togetherness, the chemistry, these guys have a, they, they work really well together and they love playing together. So just taking that forward and not just in the baseball field, but taking that to life. And if, if they do that, then they're going to be great family men as well. That's awesome. Some strong words from Coach Bryant. Coach Bryant, we really appreciate your time. Sure thing. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching the interview. If you want to learn some more, you can visit elevatenorthhouston.com. Look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.